okay, good morning, Monday 25th, just loaded up now, extremely early, 20 past 7. That's because we want to make a good head start on this big mountain, number 4 mountain now, so uh, let's see if we can get over that before it gets too hot. No rain cap on, so he went from probably the best bed and breakfast we've stayed in to probably the strangest hotel, but never mind that. <laughs> Okay, let's get going. Okay, going through the cupboard now nice and early. So we had a evening takeover yesterday there. Okay, so this should be the start of the M17 road. Road have been on. Recommended by quite a few people there, it should be nice and quiet. The best road in uh, Armenia, let's see if it's true. We're just starting the climb now, it's 780 meters in altitude. Let's see how high we go. I think I spotted about 2200 we have to go up to. So, this will be the final climb. I think we should get to the real climb at the end of today and go over the top tomorrow and down the other side tomorrow. Let's see if we can do it. Okay, so we started half an hour ago. All down there. Wow. Now this road is the M17. It uh, takes us from Kapan to Migri, the, or the Iranian border. It's actually supposed to be one of the best roads in Armenia. We can see actually is. So far, extremely good road. No traffic. Just as we've been told. Well, this behind me now, this is actually Azerbaijan. Um, extremely close to the border. Actually, technically, we're actually crossing the border according to Google Maps. But uh, there will actually be no border control because actually the border between Azerbaijan and Armenia is closed. Just like on the other side, Turkey and Armenia is closed. Armenia is only open in the north and in the south. The left of the road, nice view of Azerbaijan. Looks a lot like Armenia from here. I'll see the big difference. But that's Azerbaijan. Well, this is a very quiet and peaceful village of Shakatan, it's called. A place to Fill the water bottles up. There's a nice fountain spring here. Some really nice green forests here. I'm really sweating now. We just had the hardest oh. climb of the whole trip so far. Yeah. Oh. This is absolutely really, really, really tough going this. You need to be very tough. I was actually just a little bit crying because it's it's, what it's really like. Yeah. <laughs> and we want to say everyone uh, sometimes you can Don't be Don't go on the M17. No go, no go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is when it's not funny. <laughs> First real flat part we've had today, heading for a town called Svam. Yeah, so see if we can enjoy a bit of biking for a bit, half an hour maybe, let's see. Nice <laughs> in the trucks they have here. How on earth they just keep them going. Must be made strong. No many no idea how many years old, must be at least 50 or 60 years old. The looks of that thing. This is like the ruins of a church here we just found in Russian. Okay, just had our lunch here in Sashin. A little bit hot. Should have found a place in the shade really, it's really hot today. It's not that comfortable to lie here and just sweat to death. We're sweating more having lunch than we were biking really. But, uh, 
Yeah. Best thing of all, we just sat there roasting in the sun at lunchtime, sweating, and then 200 meters up the hill, there was a picnic bench with a cover. <laughs> oh dear. Sometimes you just never know what's 50 meters down the road. That's the way it is, I suppose. Again. Just eating in the sun, there's a nice place for the shade. There's nothing these are probably the people's uh people buried and they have a picnic bench by the side of the grave. Maybe so the family can uh, come and spend time with them, have a cup of coffee maybe. Extremely hot in this part of Armenia. Oh not the same yesterday. I think it's Mainly the heat today is making it hard because the uh, roads are very good and very quiet. And it is a bit actually a cloud up there. First time we've been in the shade all day. Some pretty amazing views from up here. See how high we are. There's always a nice sign to see. Nine percent down here. Town of Svab, however on earth you say it. Okay, luckily we just found some water. All our drinking bottles would run out. landscape in this area now. Here we've left the town of Slav, as it's called, and heading up the mountain up to 1300 meters now we've got to go up to 2200. So now we've started climbing the really big mountain, the last one, the final one. You can see how high we've come up since the turn there. But, uh, I've been about 1,500 meters now. Started biking this morning at uh, quarter past seven. Now it's quarter to five. Oh, a long, hot, hilly, mountainous day. Huh. Oh yeah. But, uh, see about two kilometers, and we should come to a place that's marked an overland that we can camp and uh, see if we can get there. Just finished the hardest day on the bikes of this trip. Yes. Which, yeah, we knew a kind of why this last mountain was going to be hard. But not and, so hard. But not so hot. Harder than expected, I would say. Yeah. Been really hot today. Maybe no wind. But, uh, so the mountain alone wasn't too bad, but uh, the heat made it difficult. Ah, I'm not. Yeah, that's true, but I also think there was. A a lot of steep hills we've climbed, mm, yeah. not just one. Well, we started this morning at 20 past seven. There's lots of insects here biting our legs, that's where we keep looking. And uh, what's the time now? It's about 20 past five or so, so... Oh, that's been a lot of hours on the bike. But that was the hardest day. And now climbed, two big climbs. We started this morning with a big climb. And then it went down a bit and up a bit, bit and down a bit and up a bit, and then we finished with another big climb. We're now 1,650 meters. Yeah. So. We could have stayed down in the town at what three, half past three or something like that. Has been. I was a bit tired, but then Jamie was quite fresh at that point. So then we decided to no carry way. on, but then there hadn't been no camping spots anywhere. But now we've come to like a space here. And Jamie wants to say something now. That's my turn. <laughs> okay, today I will say it has been very difficult, uh, the mountains and 
the hills and there was many places where it's very steep. Uh, actually, uh, I think half of the day have been 9% up or some mm. kind of thing because it has been very steep. Yeah, 9% has been yeah. a lot of times. Yeah. Lots of times we have seen percent, 9%, so yeah. And uh, it's very difficult to bike in very warm, so today we have done, yeah, we have, uh, it's very heat today. Mm. Yeah. But now we're here, this is an uh, old bridge. As Mark's done, I have a lander, we found this place, so. We have a dog. We've got a nice dog here. Hi, doggy. Nice protected dog. Now we're up in the jungle here by the looks of it, so. Well, we're close to the road, so that's a, that's a good thing. Okay, we'll get the tent up here. I think we all need a rest. Okay, this is camping today. And what do I call this camping today, Daddy? This is old bridge camping. Old bridge camping. And now I want to tell bridge. you about old bridge camping, why it's called old bridge camping. So you can actually see right behind our tent there are a bridge, a very old bridge. And I think it's very, very old. You can just see it here. Yeah, so this is the bridge and our tent are right there. And uh, we use, we want, I want to say, when we use the cooking, we, wa we, like, we like to have a place where we can have water. And here is today where we have water from the river and we have a little also water there we're drinking of. So this is the place where we're drinking water from. And up there we're going up and there are many mountains. And now I can show you the mountains. This is the mountains today. We're very high up. This is the dog today. Hello dog! Yeah, so this is the dog today. Yeah, you want to uh, make a yeah. Okay, so that was the end of our seventh day biking here in Armenia. We should have one more. Hopefully we'll get to the border tomorrow, the town of Migri. Um, it's pretty close to the border of Iran. So it'll be eight days in a row cycling through <laughs> big <laughs> mountains. So yeah, we knew it was going to be a challenge and it was, but uh, yeah, now we should only have about 45 kilometers to do tomorrow. We have to carry on first up the mountain here with 1,650 meters. We have to go up to we have to go up to 2,300 tomorrow, and then after that, downhill all the way to the border. So that should be possible now. That's within reach, I think, tomorrow. When we booked a bed and breakfast, so I actually planned ahead and booked something. <laughs> so and then we'll have uh, two days at the border, just having a rest now before we go to Iran. But, uh, yeah, well, that was a, a good day, hot day. It's a very hot day, but uh, yeah, we're camping here. This will actually be the the last time we camp for a while. We've seen Iran, it's uh, all hotels and Turkmenistan hotels. So next time we camp, hopefully we'll be in Uzbekistan. So um, yeah, so we'll have a nice night in the tent now. We'll, uh, It'll be about three weeks, I think, before we sleep in the tent again. So, uh, yeah, so that'll be good. Very peace and quiet for here. So, yeah, there's only two cars have come by since we put the tent on a few hours ago. So quiet it is here. Extremely quiet road. So, um, yeah. yep, that's it. That was it for today. We'll um, have another day on the bikes tomorrow and get to Migri. And now she's got st stuck to a bush. <laughs> it's hot and it's really hard biking, so I'm stuck in a thing. <laughs> <laughs>